Hello everyone, this is Veronica Buzzing with V. Welcome to another video. Today's video is going to be a miniature album using your scraps. And um, I'm going to use these this glue from Dollar Tree. You could also use the art glitter glue as well. However, this Dollar Tree glue does hold up. So you're going to start off with um, two by two sheets of paper. And I'm using the Hobby Lobby thick paper and you're going to need six of those and glue each one down we're going to make this album thick and you're going to need three sheets for the cover the spine and the back of your album and just glue it on down i'm not sure how this glue works or will hold up for long term and there's the paper that i used and this is just scraps you guys um i did i'm using scraps from becky long swamp and so i love how the glue uh, dries it dries really hard and sturdy um at four dollar i love it so i'm using also score tape i have tyvek here you can purchase some tyvek um, from uh, staples um, they are envelopes and so just add your score tape to the Tyvek also add it to your spine and we're gonna glue that Tyvek to your front cover of the album the back cover and also the spine and uh, don't be generous you guys with the with a score tape so um i do want to mention that i learned how to make albums through corrine's creations and i've been following her for way before my channel for years now and um i i always like to give her credit because that's where i learn all my techniques for albums and so um i'm using her technique where she did make a five by seven i believe album but this one is a two by by um roughly about six a two by six open and it's a two by two closed so it's very miniature you guys very tiny and um i love to enter giveaways you guys this is for a giveaway it's for happy mail stampers giveaway it's a sequence giveaway where everyone wins please go check her out a vr isn't required but i did want to mention her because i think it's an awesome giveaway well it's sort of kind of like a um, one of those group swaps where you get something back but there's going to be a winner at the end we'll, we'll get all of the sequence so i think it's just such a genius idea so you do see me add some score tape to the back of the album and i'm adding the front cover of the uh album right here and that is going to be pink and i do score the edges of the album um so that way the when we fold the edges over the um paper won't be stressed and tear and so you just want to help it along and also cut the corners here give the corners some room there so you're going to leave a little gap there um where because if you don't if you don't do this you're going to see the corner in the end you'll see a piece of white there when we fold it on over so you want to give it some um some room to cover it and so add some score tape and then varnish it here and take the score tape off and then we're going to fold it over and then you'll see how those corners will be covered so here we are folding it over and varnishing it with my bone folder so do this with each edge and see here we're going to fold those pieces over and that's going to cover the corner of your album. And there it is, you guys. I love it. I love her technique. Uh, so now we're going to go ahead and and score a, a little bit the of the spine there. And you want to take your time when folding the cover over and the back because you don't want your 
outer sheet of paper to tear and it will tear you guys if you're too rough you don't want to do that so now we're gonna um, cover the inside and I'm using a lighter pink I'm not sure if I mentioned what collection I'm using I'm using sunny days I have tons well not tons but I have almost the complete collection of sunny days and I've had it already for over a year so it's time to get to using it and I will also be using this in my collaboration that's coming up in May, May 7th that is. I hope you guys will be joining us. And so I'm adding some more score tape. So a lot of score tape goes into making an album. And if you're going to make a larger album, be, um, be aware that you will be using all of your tape so you know the miniature ones um you'll use half of your roll but the larger ones you're going to use your full roll probably another and so now we're going to add that lighter shade of pink to the inner portion of your album and um i think these little sequence sample albums came out so adorable i'll be making some more and surely we'll be giving them away in swaps and giveaways and so yeah keep a lookout for that really soon and so now i'm just varnishing the inner portion and um going to fold in the spine and again you guys um can't stress this enough to take your time when folding over your spine you want to really cater to that so your spine doesn't tear so this is the outer portion of the front cover, the back cover, and the spine. And you do want to cut it slightly smaller. You can use art glitter glue. You can use the Dollar Tree glue. You can use score tape. You can use Dollar Tree uh, tape as well, glue tape, double-sided glue tape. Uh, you can use hot glue as well. And so these pieces are slightly smaller than the album. And they, um, the front and back cover are the same measurements of two and a quarter by two and a quarter. And the spine is going to be two and a quarter by three and a quarter. And so I'm just gluing these on. I love how the colors go together, the floral pattern with that bright pink pattern. Um, again, this is the Sunny Days collection by Maggie Holmes that I'm using. I want to apologize for the flipping of backgrounds in this video. I did have to cut a smidge of clip in this video. And so I'm going to show you how to do um, the hinge in a different way because uh, this album right here has a different hinge that has a patent on it. And so um, I want to show you a different way so you don't get into trouble. So this is the way and what you want to want to do is you're going to want a sheet of two and three quarters by one and a half inch. And then you're going to want to score at a fourth inch, a half inch, one inch inch one and one fourth inch and then add some score tape to the back of that after you score it and fold it and add it to your album and this is going to create your hinge for your album and then uh, well, what i'm using here is you can use some acetate as pages but i'm going to use the laminator sheets you know i have tons as if you guys been watching me you guys know that i have tons of laminator sheets and so um, I do save portions of it as well, and um, this was great to add them in as pages, and so I use score tape. Score tape is great when using um, a laminator sheet. It, it sticks like crazy glue, <laughs> so yeah, it does, and so that's what I'm using here. So I'm adding my pages now, and they're going to be clear. I love the clear look. And yeah, like I said, you could you could use um, acetate. Acetate is very clear and see through, and um, laminator sheet is. And it has a film to it, so but I still use it. It works well, and uh, so our book is coming together, and I'm loving it so far.
So now I completely forgot to sew this portion. If I had to do this all over again, I would definitely take out my sewing machine and sew. So um, as, as you all know, I'm using scraps again to make this album. And so this is a scrap sheet of paper. And so I'm just cutting it down. I believe it's, um, uh, let's see here, it's going to be a two by two because as we layer on the layers they're a quarter inch smaller from each other so um, I'm adding some score tape and ah, oh, I wish I would have sewn on this but I didn't and um, yeah it still came out cute I think but it would have been cuter with some stitching or even some embossing would have looked good some gold embossing on the edges would have looked really nice and so i'm just adding some score tape and adhering we're just about done you guys look how cute it is so cute coming it's coming together and i don't show all of all everything that i do when making this um i believe i do cut out uh the front the um decorating part so here I made some sequence here and this is my first sequence that I I've made that I like and I made it to match sunny days so it has um, bits of blue in it and along with the pastels and gold and so just add them to these little tiny baggies I picked up from Amazon they are business card so a business card size and so just fold them over and then you adhere them to the laminator sheet so adhere them to your pages and with score tape again because score tape and plastics and laminators go hand in hand they glue so well together i think in my opinion anyway and so yeah i used that and so this is the pages, you guys, and um, I will show you um, how to do the, well, I don't do a tutorial for the um, bottle sequence album, but I am doing a tutorial for the page sequence album. So these ones have pages, and I think they're so cute and adorable and miniature and, and uh, using scraps mm. that I would have tossed in the garbage. So, I yeah, I'm very happy with this. I'm going to do more of these. I think they're so cute. Even to put rosettes in. And so, um, I'm, gonna, I'm using some of the Sunny Days. And it's a chipboard right here. This is leftover chipboard from one of the collections I used last year, the year before, with my swap with um, Teresa. And yeah, I still had some left over from her swap. And um, yeah, she's chasing creativity here on YouTube. I will link her below as well. Using this rosette that I made a long time ago that I've kept. And so I'm using glue for this portion. Do you see, see my scraps right there? <laughs> I end up using that sentiment that says magical moment and... Ta-da, there we are. And if you hear background noise, that's my children. And so I do punch out these little um, beach gals <laughs> there at the beach. I thought it would look really cute on the sequence just to bring your eye a little bit towards the sequence and not the inner portion of the album. And so um, I do add a spine as well, just for a decorative element. And we're almost done, you guys. I really enjoyed making these. These are so much fun to make. So there's our pages. Okay, so now we're going to add a jump ring. And I'm not going to show this portion. We're going to add a paper um tassel almost forgot the word and so i am adding a hole and then i'm gonna add a brad and um or is that what it's called i can't remember <laughs> sorry <laughs> um i will link everything below though you guys um 
And so there it is. I did use the, I call it a nose ring because it looks like a nose ring to me, but um, I learned how to put sequence on a jump ring through um, Adriana Alvarez, I believe, who got it from Shar Crane, I believe. I will link them in the description below as well so you could check them out. They're very talented women and so yeah i got i scrap lifted that from them i'm not sure who is the creator of paper tassels but i also saw this on instagram and recreated it and these are all the albums that i made again um, four of them are going to happy mail stampers giveaway i will link her below as well this is the sequence in a bottle and I thought the sunny days went well with it kind of looks like you know like a letter in a bottle as well as perfume samples this looks like perfume samples to me I'm not sure if they're also still doing perfume samples like back in the day they used to put a little bottle in um, a little tiny book and so I thought that that was pretty cute with the uh, sunny days because sunny days is like a beachy sea theme and i appreciate you guys watching i hope you guys will do one as well tag me if you do i'd like to see them and thank you so much for hanging in there with me i will see you in the next video bye